Good morning, grandkids. I always have to make sure that's recording. Okay, this morning we're going to have a new story. I hope you'll like it. If I can open it. <laughs> this is The Wisp Mother in Two Theories uh, by Matthias Atwain. Among the folk tales from the northern reaches of Skyrim, few subjects are as popular as the Wisp Mother, ghostly women who lure unsuspecting travelers to their doom, steal children, and take vengeance on those who wronged them in life. I wonder which one they're using when they take after me when I'm out adventuring. Similar tales exist throughout Tamriel. The Melsinae, Mels, Melusinae of Stros Maki, God, what names, who lure ships to wreck on jagged shoals, then consume the souls of those aboard. The serpentine Shalas of Black Marsh, the Amranol of Valen Wood. But unlike these mythic creatures, most scholars concede that wisp mothers actually exist. They do, I've ran into them. Though rare, credible reports of their sightings are simply too frequent to be ignored. Herein, a synopsis of what can be gleaned from provincial legends and the dominant theories on what they may actually be. Wisp mothers. Most tales agree on only a few basic facts about wisp mothers. They are always female. They take the form of human, some say elven, spirits, wreathed in mist and decaying rags. They have an affinity for frost magic, rarely appearing in more temperate climes. But beyond that, the tales differ wildly. Some say they are ghosts waiting to be laid to rest others that they are all that remains of the snow elves who once ruled Skyrim. Some say they are native to Halmarsh, for the north more generally, but other tales mention them in forgotten places on mountaintops as far away as the Geralds. Most reputable scholars dismiss these stories, preferring instead to focus on the few documented sightings from recent years. From these, two dominant theories have emerged. Based on his extensive research into necromancy and Cyrodiil's alien culture, Master Sadrin Serithi posits that Wisp Mothers are a necrologic state, a type of lichdom developed by a now-forgotten first-era culture. Under his theory, these are no mere ghosts. They are a cult of powerful sorceresses who achieved eternal life through undeath. Alternately, Ledet Villian of the Synod contains that his mothers are not undead at all, but rather elemental manifestations arising out of Nern itself. By noting several similarities to Spriggans and Ice Wraiths, she contends that the Wisp Mothers are essentially elemental personifications of snow or mist, innately welding the power of their element, instead of manipulating it through conventional sorcery. Wisps. In most accounts, the victim is initially drawn to the Wisp Mother by glowing ghostly lights. Although initially passive, these creatures later attack in tandem with her, distracting the victim and draining their energy. Popular legend holds that these are the spirits of the Wisp Mother's previous victims. These spirits strengthen her, so anyone hoping to destroy her must first release the souls of those she has killed. 
To scholars, this description immediately recalls the will-o'-the-wisp, a rare and dangerous swamp denizen of southern Tamriel. Oddly, Cyrodelic legends invariably refer to wisps as lone predators. While these appear to exist in some sort of symbiotic relationship with others of their kind. Billy Ann argues that these wisps are a subspecies of true wisps, scavengers that lure prey to the wisp mother and share in the psycho-ethereal energy released by her kills. As codependent scavengers, they most likely lack the formidable defenses of their predatory cousins, rendering them far more vulnerable. I haven't ever met one yet that seemed very vulnerable to me. <clears throat> Alternately, Sarithi, <coughs> excuse me, Alternately, Sarithi posits that these wisps are merely emanations or conjurations of the wisp mother and not free living creatures. This is supported by one incident in which an adventurer reportedly killed a wisp mother directly, only to observe the remaining wisp immediately perish as well. Though the source is considered highly unreliable. In summary, scholarly opinion about wisp mothers and wisps is superb, is sharply divided and is likely to remain so for some time, but all sources agree on one crucial point. These are highly dangerous foes and should be avoided at all costs. Man, I agree with that. Is that all the book? Yep, it is. Well, where is an eagle? There you are. Did you like that story, an eagle? You could have come over here and sat down with me. Oh, well. I'm going to go over here and get a little warmed up by the fire. It's kind of coolish in here today. Was you making something in the pot, Anigo? Or do you want me to get something ready for lunch? Whatever you wish, kind sir. Okay, grandkids, I'm out of here for now. I guess I have to get busy and fix him some dinner. And I will talk to you all later.